Okay, let's take a look at uh, using the mirror tool with modeling. <clears throat> so just to illustrate this quickly, I'm going to go ahead and start off with a box, a cube. And I'm going to quickly make that editable. Um, so sometimes when you're modeling, you, you may be wanting something to be completely symmetrical. So what you'll do is model one half and get it exactly the way you want it. And then you can use the mirror tool uh, to flip the other side. So I'm going to select uh, one polygon and use the matrix extrude. Let's make an elephant. So I'll uh, bring this down and give him a little mouth. I'll just bevel one of these polygons out. Get hold of it. So I'm pulling out a bevel for the mouth, and I'm just going to shrink that down. Try to do this quickly here. For the ear, I would uh, <clears throat> probably just do an extrude or an inner extrude inner first, bring it down, and then maybe I'll do an extrude to pull it out away from the head a little bit. Okay, and then I may do another uh, bevel to pull out the ears out. Notice it's going into the head, but I still have my arrow tool, so I can actually pull it now. So you can see that it's outside of the head. I'm not going to add too much detail here because I just want to quickly show you uh, how this tool works. So just one more inner extrude. And I'll just nudge that in a little bit. And to make sure this is what I want, I'm going to grab a hypernerves and put my cube in there. Okay, well, it looks more like a Princess Leia ear right to me right now, so I can continue editing. I might pull this down, I might pull this polygon back, maybe I'll pull this one back, maybe I'll rotate this one out a little bit, pull it away from the head. Okay, well, that's, that's looking a little bit more like an elephant ear. And so I think I'm happy with that, and I want to go ahead and mirror the other side so it looks just like that side. I'm going to turn off my hypernerves object. I'm going to select my cube. Pull this polygon out just a bit. And I'm going to go into the um, right view because I've modeled this along the um, x axis. So I'm going to go into the right view at the bottom. And what I want to do is to cut my object in half. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my point select tool. I'm going to go under structure and choose the knife. I want to tell it, I want to uncheck visible only. I do want it to constrain to a 45 degree angle. Uh, I'm going to click up here and hold shift, let go. Let go of the mouse first and let go of shift. And since I checked unchecked um, visible only, it will have cut through my entire model. So just to check that, I can go into the perspective view, rotate around, and see that I do have a line all the way down the center. And now I'm going to use my rectangle select tool. Make sure I uncheck only select visible elements. I'm going to select all of the, the points on one side, on, on the um, elephant's left side, and delete those. So now if we look at our perspective view, you'll see that we have a complete shell of our object cut down the center. Back to the right view. This is the point where we're going to use our mirror tool. Uh, so I want to be on the polygon select tool. Select all my polygons. You can also hit Apple A, Command A. Um, and now Structure, Mirror. If you just click out here and drag, it'll, you'll see a vertical line. It's going to try to snap to your uh, points and then just let go. And voila, we have a mirrored elephant. Um, so I'm going to go back into our perspective view so we can see this. And as you, as you can see, uh, this side completely uh, mirrors the other side. And since I did have snap to points and uh, weld points selected, um, these should be welded together. These should be welded together. So if I select one of these and pull it up, 
you can see all the points are connected together. And then turn our hypernerves object back on, and we've got the beginnings of a pretty decent elephant head using the mirror tool.